Hi everyone. Working from home, as many of you and as all my colleagues at the French Consulate. The whole team is working very hard to help the French community during this crisis. In the last days, we've assisted hundreds of French tourists who wanted to fly home. But at the Consulate, we also have a team working on science. And this team has developed in the last month a wonderful relationship with the laboratory here in San Francisco who is currently working to try to find a treatment against coronavirus. Earlier today, I talked to Nevin Krogan. Nevin is a molecular biologist. He is the director of the Quantitative Biosciences Institute. Here is what he told me. Hi, Nevin. Uh, thank you very much for your time. It's nice to talk to you. It's great to be here to talk to you as well. Nevin, you're a specialist of mapping the interactions between virus and host. Uh, can you explain us what that means? So there are 29 genes in the coronavirus, and there's over 20,000 genes in our cells. And we've used an approach that we've developed in the past to identify all the human genes and proteins that the virus needs in order to optimally infect our cells. And we identified 332 uh, human proteins that we think are essential to viral replication. OK, so I understand you've been working day and night with your team since the beginning of the outbreak. So what have you done so far? So. Um, in the middle of February, when we realized that the virus was spreading and it could not be contained, I went to the lab and I told everybody to stop what they're doing and focus exclusively on the coronavirus. So we've been cloning out each one of these genes, studying it in isolation, uh, mapping the proteins that uh, connect to each of the viral uh, proteins, and collaborating with hundreds of scientists in San Francisco and making connections around the world, including with the Pasteur Institute. So that's the point. You developed a, a partnership with uh, Mount Sinai Hospital in New York and with the Institut Pasteur in France. Uh, how does this partnership work and what is its goal? Well, uh, unfortunately, we can't uh, be working with the virus in San Francisco. or We haven't got it set up. Fortunately, in New York and Paris, they do have the virus working. And we used our data, the map that we generated, to make predictions about drugs. And we predicted 69 drugs and compounds, 27 of which are FDA approved. And we're getting these drugs to New York and Paris. And excitingly, uh, they're testing to see what effects they have on viral infection in the lab. And within the next 24 hours, we should have some results from Paris. Can, can I ask you, why did you decide to work with Institut Pasteur? Uh, so it's one of the best, if not the best, uh, virological uh, pathogenic institutes in the world. Very, very famous. Uh, we started a relationship with them uh, over a year ago. Um, uh, with symposium and setting up collaborations. Ironically, we're supposed to be at a symposium right now in Paris. A number of uh, scientists from San Francisco, obviously we're not there, but it it's been fantastic that we set up this relationship and we're collaborating on this uh, unanticipated uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So you've just published a paper identifying potential treatments against coronavirus. So what are the next steps now? Well, we're working closely with the scientists at the Pasteur and the scientists at Mount Sinai in New York uh, to uh, uh, test uh, these predictions. Uh, we're also looking deeper into the map to come up with new predictions. And I'd also like to say, you know, we've released the map, we've, we've made our predictions, and we're uh, very excited that other scientists could dig into this data, test our predictions, or come up with new predictions that could hopefully ultimately result in new therapies so we can fight this uh, infection. Well, Niven, thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for what you do. Good luck to you. Thank you very much.